Praise God. Hello, beloved church family. Saturday evening worship service. Hallelujah. It's a new season. Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you saved us for all of eternity. Amen. You are my only need. And glory to God, he met that need through Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That we are never in need. That that need is met in perfection through our Lord and Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And glory to God, Holy Spirit lives on the inside. I know who I'm worshiping with. Amen. And it just gets gooder and gooder in Jesus' name because he's the only one good. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's a brand new season. Hallelujah. And uh, being obedient to what Holy Spirit has spoken. And I, and I thank God for our elders. I thank God above all for Holy Spirit and how he has unified his holy church. We are all members of the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved church family. And I am so thankful. I am so thankful that the elders has, uh, has released me to, to be able to, to go into this new, new season, this new step as far as in how our Saturday evening worship service is. And um, I'm just so thankful for them. I love them so much. Amen. And Pastor John and I, praise God, we, we are one and we pray for everybody every day in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And I say all that because if you notice, we're here in God's beloved prayer room. Amen. And in a moment, we're going to open up in prayer. Holy Spirit said we just want to set this up so that there's an understanding that in this new season, how we're going to move forward is we're still going to have a Saturday evening worship service. However, what you see behind me is the platform in what Holy Spirit wants to introduce, not only to Open Arms Community Church, but this entire world. Amen. And this ministry, the, this, this outreach, this worship service, this sermon, this whatever you want to call it, is simply called the table. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. The table. Can you say that with me? The table. So this is truly the introduction to what we are going to be obedient and following through in the next Saturdays to come. Praise God until we're raptured out of here. I pray in the next half an hour. Amen. And before we start, let's open up in prayer. Praise God. Pray for me. Pray with me. And pray over, hallelujah, the table. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much. Lord Jesus Christ, we lift up your name for all of eternity. And we thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you have prepared a table for us, Father God. That you are seated at the table, Father. You are seated at the throne. And Father God, we just thank you for your perfect sacrifice for Lord Jesus Christ. And Holy Spirit, as we bless you, lifting up the name above every name, being thankful in what you've done, Father God, through your beloved, perfect Son. In what you've done, Lord Jesus Christ, in forgiving us with all the mercy, with all the grace of heaven, being agape yourself. And with what you are doing, Holy Spirit, through your holy church, through every soul that has received Jesus Christ as Lord. We thank you, Father God, for this word that you will preach and teach us. Heavenly Father, you are the only teacher. I know nothing. Rebuke me, Father. You are God Almighty. Lord Jesus Christ, you have all the glory, honor, and praise. And Holy Spirit, you are. You are the teacher. And Father God, we just thank you right now for this fresh anointing in Jesus Christ's holy and precious name. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Praise God. Give somebody a high five that you're with. Amen. If you're by yourself, hallelujah. Holy Spirit's in you. Give yourself a high five. Praise God. And don't forget God's angels. Amen. Hallelujah. All of God's angels are around us, protecting us, fighting for us, ministering to us. Glory to God. Do you believe that? I believe that with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. I believe it. I believe it because it's Holy Spirit light in you and in me. Hallelujah. We say, agape, Father. Son, Holy Spirit, amen? And I am so thankful as far as how God has placed this seal on his beloved children. And it only comes through the Lordship of Lord Jesus Christ. And when we receive that gift through Christ, amen, we know that Holy Spirit now lives on the inside. And glory to God, we are never the same, amen? The old is dead and gone, hallelujah. And now we live the newness, hallelujah, as sons, as daughters of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Being, being 
overflowing with, with the anointing, being overwhelmed, right? The overwhelming presence of our Holy Father, Holy Spirit within us, just overtaking every thought, amen? Capturing, holding, thought, holding thoughts captive if they don't line up to the Word of God and being able through worship to speak the anointing and speak against darkness, speak against the enemy in Jesus Christ's name, hallelujah. And we just thank God that he gives us the power in the words that we speak, amen. So it's just suitable, praise God, and our Holy Spirit would, would bless us with this wisdom and in his holy presence to teach us in what we're going to launch out called the table, amen. Say that with me, beloved church family, and keep that in your heart and just lift it up in prayer. The table, praise God, the table. In Psalms 23, amen, Psalm 23, I'm reading out the New King James Version, amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Now notice, we're going to pause right there. Notice what takes place immediately as this overflows from the heart of the one that was named the one after God's own heart, right? Brother David, amen, King David. You notice he was just overflowing with the anointing, being consumed of the presence of God on my Holy Spirit, just flowing through him. And here he is saying, all these things that, God, you are my shepherd. Now, isn't it beautiful that what King David did is he went all the way back to when he was a youth. And that's what he did is he was a shepherd, right? And as a shepherd, he protected God's sheep and he fought off the wolf, right? He fought off the bear. He fought off the lion, right? Oh my, right? Praise God. He fought them all off. But it wasn't him fighting. His trust in the Lord is, Father, because you know my heart, you have gone before me and you have protected your sheep because you are God Almighty. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise. Let's just give God praise. Amen. And don't we have that same anointing in Christ our Lord? Don't we know that in every breath, God himself is breathing through us? God himself is living this life in abundance. Amen. God will do whatever we allow him to do in our life. Amen. And so I love it because as a shepherd, Brother David would not let his sheep want for nothing. Can I get an amen, beloved church family? He would want for nothing, right? The sheep would want for nothing. And guess what? He knew that as a shepherd watching over the flock, that as a good shepherd, he would not only protect them from harm, right? From the wolves, the bears, the lions, from whatever that tried to come, he'd go and kill it, right? But at the same time, he knows as a good shepherd, I know that I'm going to take care of my sheep. And don't you love in prayer and in worship how Brother David would just reach out to the Father and worship and surrender and say, the Lord is my shepherd. Amen. You see, what takes place is David, the man after God's own heart, See, we have God's heart now. What's the difference, Pastor? I want to tell you, in the Old Testament, Old Covenant, you could be after God's heart all you want, but you can't have it. Why? Because Lord Jesus, the heart, amen, agape, God's perfect son, did not come yet at that time. And glory to God, here we are living, we have God's heart, amen. God's heart lives in us. His name is Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, and it's his holy presence. Say his name, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit that lives on the inside, amen? Gives us the power, the power, the ability to repent. Hallelujah, to take everything captive, to crucify it, amen? To crucify it in the, on the cross, right? To crucify it in Christ. And glory to God, resurrection power, anointing. Say that with me, beloved church family, anointing overflows and manifests in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I love it because, once again, just quick review. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. Now, we have to understand that when he says, he makes me to lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside still waters. 
when you, when, when you just go into worship and Holy Spirit will bless you in the teaching, the anointing, and the wisdom, that as a shepherd, you needed to have, you needed to have your rod and your staff, right? In, in some cases, in some ways, however it's taught, Holy Spirit's the teacher, amen? But it's this, this, this stick, right? And in some cases, it's the stick, and then there's also a hook, amen? There, there, there's a hook. It kind of looks like a big candy cane, right? And what it is used for is that when you have to nudge something, you would use the pointy end of the stick to nudge, right? To poke, right? To poke. But then when you would have to take somebody's attention, right? When I was little, I'm reminded, right now Holy Spirit said, when, when I was little and I didn't listen to my mom, right? My mom would pull, would, <laughs> you can see my ear, I actually got this hook right here. Not the hook on the candy cane, but this hook. And she would pull my ear and say, pay attention, right? And, and that's, what, that's what King David did to the sheep when they were veering off of the course. Amen, beloved family? When they were not going on the straight and narrow, they were going, and he would hook them, right, around the neck, gently, and just pull them this way. Come on, stay focused, right? Walk with the flock, amen? Hallelujah. But don't you love that word? We're just in verse 2 now. Listen to this. He makes me, right? Which means, glory to God, that even if a child of God, because we're all children of God, you have the obedient, hallelujah, say it with me, I am obedient, and then you have the disobedient that want nothing to do with Lord Jesus. Maybe they say they know Jesus, but want nothing to do with Holy Spirit. They don't want a relationship. I'm not judging nobody. I'm just telling you the truth in what God wants me to preach, amen? So they're disobedient children and then there's obedient children, amen? But listen to what God is saying. I will make you lie down. And the magnitude of what is being spoke, is being prophesied, is it be, it's being called out is, every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, that he is our great shepherd. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Woo. So excited. Amen. He leads me beside still waters. Amen. And the still waters, as you know, glory to God, the still waters is symbolic and is touching on the throne room of heaven and how Holy Spirit waters, hallelujah, everlasting water, hallelujah, is flowing from the throne room of heaven. Amen. And his name is Holy Spirit. This is why we say continuously overflow. Say that with me, beloved church family, overflow. I want to overflow in God's presence in my life. Amen. I said it earlier to a beloved daughter of God. I said, do you want to be a pond or would you rather be the ocean? Amen. You see, a pond is just stagnant, right? Right? A pond is just stagnant, but an ocean is just continuously. Hallelujah. Continuously. Amen. Say that with me. Continuously. Glory. That's the blessings of the Lord over your life in Jesus' name. Amen? That's the blessings of Holy Spirit presence over your life in Jesus' name. Praise God. He restores my soul. Amen, my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Who is the name above every name? Glory to God, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Amen? And this is knowing through worship in a relationship with God Almighty, in a relationship, say that with me, relationship, in a relationship with God Almighty, being thankful, because that is the relationship that we have with Father God, being thankful for his perfect sacrifice. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And when we are thankful for Lord Jesus Christ in this relationship with God Almighty, Father God, through his Holy Spirit, amen, will lead us and guide us and through worship and relationship, listening to the directions, to the directions of Holy Spirit, and just following, amen, his footsteps in Jesus' name. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And that is the conviction of Holy Spirit in the anointing that we have through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Every beloved child of God that exhibits, right, that demonstrates Holy Spirit's fruit in their life. Amen. Through discernment, through all the gifts that you can that, that, that you can just worship God in, you will see the evidence of Holy Spirit fruit in their life. And what will, you will realize quickly 
is the accountability that they have to continuously give thanks to the Father, to continuously be in worship, to continuously be in the presence of God Almighty, being a blessing unto Father God. Amen. Say that with me, church, but being the blessing to Father God. Amen. See, we are already blessed. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Done. Can I get an amen? Done. Perfect. Can you say that with me? Perfect in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. Perfect. And all God wants us to do is just meditate on that. Because guess what? For all of eternity in his glory, when we're raptured out of here in the next half an hour, hallelujah, that's all we care about. Hallelujah. God is right there. Agape is right there. And that's all we care about for all of eternity. I'm here. Amen. For eternity, Father. Hallelujah. Yes, it's going to be beyond what we can ever expect. I can only imagine, right? Beyond what we can ever expect or comprehend. All of our loved ones will know everybody. We'll have the mind of Christ, amen? And the glory of God is, is we're going to be in his presence for all of eternity, worshiping, hallelujah, worshiping Lord Jesus Christ, amen? You prepare a table before me. In the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. And this is the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. The blood of God. That was applied over every soul. That has surrendered. And said Jesus Christ. You are Lord. You are anointed of God. And the anointing of God. Comes through his Holy Spirit. Being baptized in the Holy Spirit. That his anointing. Now overflows. In the temple, my cup, say that with me, my cup runneth over in Jesus' name. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So we want to close as far as, in, of course, as you know, verse 5 and verse 6. Because out of excitement, as far as in this new season that we are in, as you can see the setup behind us, this beautiful setup, Glory be to Lord Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit set this up because what he has put together is beloved daughters of God that continuously worship Lord Jesus Christ, listen to Holy Spirit, and obey Holy Spirit through, say this with me, relationship with Father God. And by the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, Father God has charged our beloved sisters to just through transparency and just opening themselves up to, to, to get a sneak peek at the table seated in the presence of agape. To show this world, to show whoever has eyes to see, ears to hear, how to have a relationship with Father God and how Holy Spirit blesses every beloved child with his holy presence and how personal and intimate every beloved child can be with Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Verse 5, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. And by the grace of God, as you can see the, the, the beautiful table in, in our anointed beloved prayer room, praise God. We pray in Jesus' name. Just a, a blessing and a fresh anointing over, over everybody that is involved in the table and in this ministry of just being intimate with the Lord and sharing it with the world in how to have a relationship with God. Because remember, Lord Jesus Christ, he's prepared a table in heaven in glory. On that glorious day when the rapture takes place, when the trumpets sound. And the glory of God is God wants this ministry manifested and distributed. Put it out there, amen, on YouTube and for the world to see. And I ask you to pray over every beloved sister, every beloved child of God. Pray for them as they launch out this ministry in obedience to Holy Spirit, amen. And last in verse 6, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. 
And don't you love that? Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. But what I love so much about Psalms 23, that, 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 entire, that, that entire chapter, it talks about obedience unto the Lord in a relationship, a worshiper. It talks about, it gives you a sneak peek as far as how Holy Spirit spoke and wrote this word through Brother David. But then at the same time, it shows you how intimate Brother David is with Holy Spirit and how he identifies with God the Father as being the good shepherd. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, right? And it, it, it takes you as far as, as, as thinking and how Holy Spirit's teaching us right now. How would you approach God's throne as his beloved child? Amen. You see, David approached God in his worship, in his anointing, being after God's heart. Now remember, we have God's heart in us. Hallelujah. Because Lord Jesus Christ already died and rose again. He gave us his heart. Amen. And we received it. Praise God. Born again. And now Holy Spirit lives on the inside. And how would you approach God's throne? And the bottom line is, this table that is being prepared for us in heaven, God wants to see as many souls. I'm being so bold and foolish enough to say, we're experiencing a harvest like never seen before in Jesus' name. Amen? And we're speaking not just for Lebanon, we're speaking for the whole world. But glory to God here at Open Arms Community Church. Glory to God with open arms. Amen? With open arms. God is God alone. It's all for his glory now. Amen. We don't touch it. We want none of it. It's all to glorify Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We're just a mouthpiece. Praise God. We're not smart enough. We can't, we can't do none of this. Only Holy Spirit's doing it right now. And wait and see what the Lord is doing in this harvest because he wants all these souls seated at the table. Amen. And surely your goodness and your mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Beloved church family, when we are obedient with the Lord and we follow his steps, that is divinely orchestrated by Lord Jesus Christ. That's why the word of God says, deny yourself, crucify yourself, right? Deny these thoughts, deny it. Pick up that cross, hallelujah. Pick up that cross. And Lord Jesus said, follow me, amen. Now, when you follow Lord Jesus Christ, when you're obedient to the Lord and being thankful, Listen, beloved church family, I know you may be going through something right now. I know you may be dealing with uh, whether it was a bad medical report, whether it's something coming up that the enemy is just trying to torment your thoughts. In Jesus' name right now, Holy Spirit is asking you, will you join me in prayer as we close? But just believe with all your heart, Father, I'm going to be thankful that Lord Jesus Christ, you died for me and you rose again in all glory. So that I am not only forgiven, but I died in you. And I am resurrected through the same anointing, through the power of Holy Spirit who lives in me. And you give me the ability to speak and do greater things. And Father, I just speak life right now over Open Arms Community Church, over every soul, Father, that has ears to hear. Bless them, Father God, beyond their comprehension with your perfect love. Father, what we call agape. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, that your presence would flow in us and through us and go before us in Jesus' name. Amen. Do you receive that? Hallelujah. I pray that you do. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Remember, when we're obedient with the Lord, surely, when God says surely, it's a 100% guarantee. Amen. 100% guarantee that his goodness and his mercy is chasing you down. Hallelujah, chasing you down in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah, glory to God, rejoice, amen. Praise God, let's just give God praise. Hallelujah, praise God, hallelujah. So from, from this moment on until God speaks, amen, through the elders, until the elders say we're doing something else, but be excited, amen, be excited, praise God. The table, hallelujah, next Saturday, um, get the word out, praise God, as far as just, um, once again, just, just pray, for everyone that's a part of it, praise God. Um, just so you know that you can pray for them by name. It's um, Sister Trish Karangan, Sister Amanda Brady, Sister Virginia Simpson, Sister Kathy Rakes, praise God. And just lift them up in prayer, hallelujah. And just plead the blood of Lord Jesus Christ over all of them, over all your church, hallelujah. Remember, beloved church family, what Holy Spirit taught us. We pray for one another so that virtue is flowing through us, amen. 
In Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is good. All the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder. In Jesus name. Amen. Love you so, so much, beloved church family. Praise God. I pray I see you tomorrow morning. If not, the next half an hour. Hallelujah. And please reach out. Invite somebody to church. Amen. Invite somebody. Tell them to come. Praise God. Tell them, come. Come. And I promise you, I promise you, God will bless their socks off in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you so much. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for blessing God Almighty with your heart, soul, mind, strength, everything that you have. Because when you do that, Holy Spirit will overflow from you and just love the entire world. Amen. Love you so much, beloved church family. God bless you. See you soon. Mwah!